Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. Beautiful sunny day here at Zoo Montana. I want to talk about two birds I've mentioned before. However, this is a great time of year to remind you about them. First of all, over here on my left side, we've got bald eagles. And over here on my right side, we've got turkey vultures. Now, the bald eagles, they are temporarily on display here in the bird of prey area, but it's a great opportunity to talk about both of them because a lot of people get them confused when they see them flying. So I'm gonna give you a really easy tip to how to tell the difference between a bald eagle and a turkey vulture when they're flying high in the sky. And the best way is to look for the wing shape. Turkey vultures, when they fly, they have kind of a V shape and they do a lot of rocking back and forth and very little flapping. Whereas bald eagles, they're gonna do quite a bit more flapping, their wings are gonna be a little bit flatter, and that's gonna be the best way to tell them apart from a distance. Now, of course, when you see them up close, well, the white head and versus the red head of the turkey vulture, but remember, not all bald eagles have the white head. If they're young, usually below about five years of age, they're still gonna have a brown head, so a little difficult, to tell them apart. Now, this is also the best time of year to look for the babies. And bald eagles especially, right now, the babies are starting to fledge. And if you remember me talking, the term fledge means they're leaving the nest for the first time and learning how to fly. So if you see a bald eagle nest while driving down the road, you're gonna notice them because they're huge nests. The babies are usually perched right up on the side and they're starting to think about that first flight. Now remember, when a baby bird is fledging, it doesn't matter if it's an eagle, a turkey vulture, or a songbird, they're gonna be on the ground and even though it looks like they need help, mom is most likely still taking care of them. She's probably up under a, in a tree just watching the baby from afar. So if you see a bird on the ground, it's got all of its feathers, it's just learning, you don't have to scoop it up, mom and dad are still around taking care for it. But I'll tell you what, the cool thing about bald eagle babies is they're huge. In fact, most baby birds are the biggest they're ever going to be during their fledgling stage and then they'll slowly get a little bit smaller over time. But do keep your eyes open because turkey vultures, bald eagles, they're all in the area right now. Turkey vultures, of course, migratory. So with the warm weather, they're coming up into Montana, give them a couple months here, and then slowly but surely, they'll move their way back down to the southern U.S. So when you see a turkey vulture, you know spring in Montana has arrived. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.